Five strange new developments in the Delphi murders case. First, some background. Richard Allen is accused of killing Abby Williams and Libby German back in Delphi in 2017. His trial is scheduled to begin in October. Tonight, his defense team says they now plan to call the judge as a witness in the case. Senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel joins us live in studio night to explain this very unusual move. Bob. Well, we can tell you Allen's attorneys want the judge to step down from the case. They claim she's biased. A few weeks ago, the judge denied that request for a second time. Today, Allen's lawyers filed this response, putting the judge on notice that she might be called as a witness. They're doing that because they say testimony from Judge Francis Gall is crucial to show law enforcement is acting in bad faith, violating Allen's rights. They say the judge has direct knowledge that the Carroll County Sheriff's Office lied when it failed to bring a prison inmate to court to testify as a witness for Allen. The Sheriff's Office said the judge advised them not to bring the witness to court, but the judge recently said she did not make that decision. The defense team now plans to call the judge as a witness to discuss that issue. So they say she should recuse herself from the case because she's got a conflict of interest. The 21 page filing from Allen's defense team also goes on to explain many reasons why they say Judge Gall is biased against them, including falsely blaming the defense attorneys for a paperwork mix up that they claim was actually made by the court clerk, frequently criticizing the defense team for procedural issues while ignoring a significant breach of professional conduct by the prosecutor and denying hearings on important matters requested by the the defense and they criticize the judge for misunderstanding and misapplying the law ratcheting up an ongoing dispute between the judge and the defense attorneys who have both accused the other of being incompetent the defense attorneys say they filed all this to set the record straight in case they need to take these issues to the indiana court of appeals They've asked the judge to quickly reset a hearing date to determine whether Richard Allen will remain in prison while he awaits trial or if he can be moved to a county jail closer to Delphi. Yeah, Bob, there seems to be just so much bad blood between the yeah. judge and the defense attorneys. How does this impact the trial, ultimately Richard Allen, and of course the victim's families? Yeah, well, it ultimately comes down to whether the judge can truly be impartial. Mm -hmm. She says that she can. The defense says she's already shown otherwise. At a minimum, the dispute is delaying justice here. We do know that. And as the process keeps slowing down, the costs associated with this trial keep going up. 13 Investigates has the latest numbers. Just how much all this is cost in Carroll County. I'll have those uh, mm. figures for you coming up tonight at six. All right, thanks so much, Bob, for staying on top of it. There are so many details here, yep. and if you would like to look at them firsthand and see the filings and also the timeline of the investigation so far, we have it all put together for you in one area, Delphi Murders continuing coverage. Just go to WTHR.com slash Delphi. Tonight